Welcome to Soft Reviewed. In this video, I want to share with you how you can generate images for free using Hugging Face. And I have created a, an app that will achieve this for us uh, in make.com. Uh, before that, uh, I have already shared a video on this. Uh, this is that video uh, where you can, if you see this thumbnail, this video talk about how we can actually go through this uh, documentation and integrate all by yourself. But uh, the issue that most of you uh, told me uh, via my uh, contact form in my website is that this is not user friendly and uh, you are having issues uh, creating images because we are directly passing the prompt uh, to this uh, HTTP module and there could be like issues where uh, that escape sequence would not uh, go through and you could have like parse error and the prompt might fail. So there were cases, so even if you have like a double quotes in your prompt, uh, that could result to a failure. But uh, with this integration, uh, we don't have any issues like that. The only issue that could happen is uh, availability of GPUs because uh, we are using the API from Hugging Face and I am using this as you can see. It's uh, publicly available. If you can create like a free account on Hugging Face, you can get access to the Flux developer version and Flux channel version. The the difference between these two is like uh, this produce a much better quality image. Uh, the dev version and the channel is uh, really fast in creating image, but uh, the quality is not that great. Uh, and uh, in order to make the life easier, I have integrated both. Uh, once you have installed this, uh, the link will be in the description where you can get this app. Uh, you will see this option like Flux by Soft Reviewed. And if you click on it, as you can see, you will only see these two options. These other options were uh, me experimenting with this uh, before I published this. And uh, now you have like a Flux Dev version and uh, the other version would be like Flux uh, Channel version. So these are the uh, two new apps that I created uh, going through the documentation. And uh, as you can see, this is much easier to use. All you have to do is click on add here and just get your API key. Uh, if you don't know how to get the API key, I have separate videos for that. I will include all these videos at the end of this uh, video. You can watch that if you are having trouble. And uh, as you can see, I have also uh, created like proper documentation or like help text that you can use to know like what each of the field does. So like created like a drop down with all the available uh, size options that we have. That's one of the uh, great things with this uh, Flux version because we get a lot of uh, sizes. Uh, it supports up to like 2048 and it starts from 256. So we get like a wide range of image sizes and you can also uh, specify the guidance scale uh, where that means how closely you want your ROM to be followed by the AI and also you can control the inference steps as well. So you can go up to 50, but uh, maximum I would recommend uh, 30 uh, because you get good results between 20 and 30. By default, you will have this width and height. Uh, this is uh, specifically set up for like YouTube thumbnails. You can definitely change it to your, your liking. And uh, that's how it is set up. Uh, when it comes to these channel models, uh, you can also like uh, give the prompt here. The only difference between uh, these two models is that uh, you don't have the guidance scale here. As you can see, uh, you only have the control over the inference step. So uh, that's how uh, this works uh, in a nutshell. And um, if you want to see like the proper implementation, I'll just uh, show you like uh, the issue with this. The main issue is that uh, since uh, the output is like streaming, we cannot actually get the uh, URL of the image directly. So like, let me just give an example like a cat and let me just run this. Hopefully if the servers are not fully loaded, we will be able to generate this, uh, this image after waiting like some time. And one, uh, this will only work if this section of this uh, hugging face is uh, working uh, because this is completely dependent on these two uh, spaces in hugging face. If this is like 404 or uh, they stopped supporting, this will not work uh, just for your information. This is how the image output looks like as you can see. 
there are like different events event generating event generating and uh, so this was like a bit uh, tricky for me in order to get this uh, from this correct uh, url uh, because it's not straightforward we need to actually get this i have tried a lot of methods uh, to provide this directly uh, to so that you can map it to the next module but uh, i was unable to uh, do that because of the streaming uh, feature uh, so what i uh, decided to do that is like once you have this you just need to go to text parser this option advanced uh, regular expression matching uh, and once you have it i'll just delete this for now because i already have one setup here i'll just uh, copy this module and just paste it here and uh, all you have to do is connect it to this one and you will have this uh, pattern uh, here this is the regular expression that we use in order to extract that url from the event complete so you can uh, go through the settings i will always uh, include this uh, in the bundle as well uh, so you just need to export it like this and once you have this all you have to do is uh, just remove it and map it with the image data here so that will give it the image data and if i run it once more uh, let's just see now if we look at it as you can see we have the image as a url let's try to so uh, in order to get this image file we need to actually uh, use this uh, next module would be like a get the file using an http module and we can map it to something like dropbox i will also show you how it works the same is applicable for this flux channel model as well so all you have to do is do the same thing in order to do, uh, show you like how this works in a proper scenario now uh, i will uh, i am not sure whether it will go through or not i have already made two requests to this flux dev model uh, that's uh, one more limitation that you need to keep in mind don't go uh, to don't go and send like too many requests keep it like uh, one or two requests maximum uh, in like uh, 10 or 20 minutes then allow it to cool down then you can make again one or two requests after like uh, 10 or 20 minutes that way uh, you can uh, get uh, some uh, good amount of request with uh, if the servers are available uh, so that's how you would actually do this and uh, this is my dropbox uh, as of now so uh, today i have made uh, two images and uh, i'll just open it here and just uh, test this based on this now uh, i'll uh, have like a prompt here a beautiful woman wearing a t-shirt with the text uh, subscribe to software beauty let's see how good uh, it is when it comes to uh, the text adherence so i'll just uh, click on ok and uh, if you notice uh, this is uh, given as like uh, an error handler if you don't know how to do this is uh, like uh, now as you can see uh, we have reached our limit i have also created like an error so if uh, when a request is done and if we did not get back that uh, event complete then it will produce like uh, this error so no gpu is available please try again in a few minutes so that's how uh, that error will work that means you need to cool down with your request and uh, i have already done like uh, two requests right now so uh, we need to give some time to cool uh, with this so how i did this is like when i right click uh, if i just uh, disconnect it to show you right click and uh, you need to add this as an error handler what it does is uh, if this fail for some reason as you can see uh, we need some sort of a backup right that why that's why i initially i prefer to get the images from dev then i will switch back to channel model and that's how you uh, do this uh, by uh, giving this as like an error handler and connecting that app to like this error handler module so that's how you do it again I'm, i'll just connect it like this and then just remove it now uh, we have this error handler set up with this and uh, i am directly connecting it to uh, as you can see the image data and then the http request to get this uh, url and save it as like a data and we are mapping that data with uh, a file name uh, also remember this is in webp format the image will be in webp format so when you give the extension and don't forget to give like webp format and i am mapping that data from here so this is the same thing that's happening here as well the only uh, change would be like uh, this will be like if this fails uh, then uh, this will get triggered and our image will be generated here
as you can see this failed so uh, this is taking that that's why this is like a backup mechanism if one fails uh, and if the if server is available uh, this will be used to generate the image that way we will have like some sort of an assurance that our image will get generated if this also fail you can um, or use the same idea uh, to actually create one more like backup maybe you can duplicate it like two or three times uh, then uh, it will uh, continue to retry uh, we don't have any other option that we can use reliably for this particular purpose so the image is now generated and if i see right now that image is, is visible here so as you can see it's uh, the uh, text is correct subscribe to like soft and uh, it's, it's a bit cut off but as you can see the image is there so the quality is really good uh, even with the channel model the flux uh, developer version is also good so uh, if you want to see this in a, like a real case scenario this is how i am using it in a workflow uh, that i used to post directly from uh, my browser uh, for example i have this uh, chrome extension that i developed and uh, this is available free in the store you can check that out if you are interested then what you need to do is you can give the title and content uh, once i generate that i paste it here it will trigger this automation webhook and it will go through different ai agents and i need uh, this for publishing in my wordpress website so it will try with this uh, dev version first then uh, if that fails it will directly move to uh, channel version and as you can see it will upload the image to wordpress write title and meta description and uh, it will update the content all i have to do is just publish the button uh, after making sure that everything is properly formatted so uh, yeah i hope uh, this video was helpful uh, if you uh, like more videos like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching and have a great day